Now from the KMAX Storm Team Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Maggie Denizio. Good Tuesday morning, Lovick. Before the break, I left you with some weather trivia, so let's take a look at that question so you can make your final guess. Also, I want to explain what a low dew point depression is because we had a lot of questions in the studio of what that exactly means. So a low dew point depression, a dew point depression is the difference between the actual air temperature and the dew point. So we know that the closer those two are, the air temperature and the dew point, the more moisture there is in place. So a low dew point depression would mean humid conditions out there. So which one of these conditions are or which one of these conditions are not favorable for morning dew? The answer is B, cloudy skies. No one, Jason's really upset. No one got it right, but it's okay. I hope you got it right back at home. So yeah, we want clear skies to get that morning dew, which is obviously fog, and we're actually not seeing any fog out there on this Tuesday morning. We have very dry conditions over the South Plains because of that cold front that moved through yesterday morning. Also cooler conditions. Those temperatures are a little bit on the chillier side. Some areas in the 40s, currently right at 50 degrees at the Lubbock International Airport. Dew points in the mid 40s. So our dew point depression right now is six degrees because the difference between the dew point and the temperature is right at six. Also winds at six miles per hour, thankfully light from the northwest. So here's our weather pattern that we saw starting yesterday morning. That cold front quickly moved across the area, really picked up those winds. We did have wind gusts yesterday afternoon up around 47 miles per hour at the airport. But through the day yesterday, that cold front and overnight last night, the cold front continued to push towards the south and east. And what we're watching now is this upper air ridge, this high pressure system that will continue to build into West Texas throughout this afternoon. And that means those skies will be staying clear, lots of sunshine, and those temperatures will be warming up well above average. But here's a look at those right now temperatures. Like I said, it is a chilly start to the day. You definitely want to dress in layers for today because those temperatures right now in the 50s and 40s, 47 degrees right now in Plainview as well as into Anton, 49 right now in Morton, 48 degrees down in Seagraves. But those afternoon highs will be warming up into mostly the mid and upper 80s expected for eastern portions of the South Plains. So putting in an afternoon high of 85 degrees in the Hub City, 87 degrees expected in post. Clear skies overnight tonight. We'll let those temperatures again drop into the lower 50s to start off the day on Wednesday. But with nothing but sunshine through tomorrow afternoon, we will be warming up into the upper 80s. Upper 80s expected again on Thursday. Now another cold front, a strong cold front, will move through Friday morning. Another dry cold front and we'll likely see those winds not nearly as strong as what we saw yesterday. But much cooler temperatures will filter in behind this front. So more fall like afternoon highs expected through this weekend in the mid 70s. Morning lows will be staying cooler in those 50s and we could be looking at rain chances possibly returning as early as Monday, but I think better rain chances starting on Tuesday. So any outdoor plans as we head through the rest of this weekend to this weekend? Good to go. Perfect. I have to apologize. I booed there. <laughs> I was booing myself, folks. I thought it was C. I, I'm a trivia guy. No, and that's to, okay. Well, I hope I taught you something. Well, you so did, you but know. what I learned this morning is that meteorological trivia stumps me and goes straight over my head. So I'm going to read up on that so the next time I'm anchoring, I can, uh, I'm going to surprise you. Oh, I, that's a, good. I hope you do. But that's why I do it, it's to teach people. Well, Just we appreciate fun trivia that. Things. We're learning. I like learning this early in the morning. I don't know yeah. if I'll remember it, but I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Maggie. From some Texas news this morning. A Fort Worth family upset after a man convicted in a hit and run case is released during his.